Last time on Total Drama Island, our competitors became hunters and the hunted. Owen's game was way off, and when he finally caught wind of his prey, he totally blew it. And Cody made a new friend, who quickly beat the crap out of him. Can anyone say medivac? In a weird and strangely watchable twist, Lashana, Lindsay, Beth, and Heather turned their paintball guns on each other. It was a full-on wrestle for dominance within the females of the Gopher Squad, and the Gophers were sent to the bonfire. In the end, however, it was Cody who got the shaft. The Gophers are still the underdogs. Can they bounce back, or is their goose finally cooked? Find out tonight on Total Drama Island! Mom and Dad, I'm doing fine You guys are on my mind You asked me what I wanted to be And now I think the answer is plain to see I want to be famous I want to live close to the sun Or pack your bags cause I've already won Everything to prove, nothing in my way I'll get there one day man not cool those aren't mine oh right you're always leaving your gits lying around no i'm not gosh uh yeah you are dude you have like absolutely no proof no one else wears that kind dude and your mom sold your name onto the label whatever i'm going for a shower hey don't forget to clean the skid maker i think harold needs to be taught a lesson boys who's with me Today's challenge will test your minds, your teamwork, and your skills in the kitchen. You will be cooking a three-course meal and serving it to me for tasting. The winners get a reward, the losers will send somebody home. Each team will appoint a head chef to create the theme of the meal and to oversee the cooking. To cook, you need ingredients. Every morning, a truck brings us food. Today's task starts there. We could do a killer Italian theme. Hello, head chef. Seriously? Then let's get grabbing. Head chef, called it. Try not to screw up this time, OK? <gasps> Just ignore her, girl. I had to take the leadership role. Hello, we're on a losing streak, and really, everyone else on the team is pretty useless. Sweet! Let's hit the road! Lashana, mangoes. Beth, pineapples. Lindsay, macadamias. Trent, molasses. Gwen, tomatoes. Okay, we got like three courses and six people. So everybody partner up. I know how to make pasta sauce. I know how to boil pasta. Me and Sadie can rock the anti-pasto. I'm like a black belt when it comes to cutting cheese. <laughs> <laughs> cheese. What? <laughs> what? I guess that leaves you and me on dessert detail. Oh, no. No way. Come on, Courtney. For the team. He's totally unmotivated, and he never washes his hands. He's so obnoxious. <laughs> Owning sunglasses doesn't automatically make you cool. People like that are so annoying. I mean, honestly, who does that? And don't 
even get me started on his hair. Uh, where do you want the water, Brit? Oops! Hey! Smooth move, Dorkahontas. Oh, bummer. I better go change, dude. <laughs> Gwen, Lindsay, you're on the citrus macadamia upside down cake flambe. Know how to make an upside down flamer thingy? Yeah. Whoa! Oh. Go back to the truck and get more oranges. I'm on it. Trent, you and Owen are on ribs. Lashana and Beth, you're on pineapple skewers and mango dip. Girl, let me handle the appetizers. I know how to make a pineapple chutney that would melt the socks off the devil. Oh, really? Well, that's so great. But since I'm head chef, we're going to stick to my plan. And my plan is pineapples with sticks through them. Got it? Shirt. Shirt, shirt. Looks like it's your time to shine. I think he digs you. Maybe. He is kind of cute. You know, you look good when you're cooking dinner. Kind of like my friend Evan's really hot mom. Excuse me? Jeff! <laughs> uh, why don't you go get us some more tomatoes, dude? Sure thing, bud. Later, Bridge. It's okay, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> Trent, heads up! Oops. Things are going perfectly, except for Owen's hornet stings and Trent's concussion, which means he's out of today's challenge. But still, this challenge is totally ours. Careful your big paws don't mash the pastry. Careful your uptight butt doesn't curdle the custard. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh! <sighs> okay, who took all my shorts? <laughs> Three hours and counting, guys. These slices are totally uneven. Switch places with Lashana. What are you talking about? They look fine to me. Um, I didn't get to be head chef because of poor presentation. No, you got to be head chef because you called it. And who you think you fooling with this crispy white apron power trip you on? Are you gonna be a team player or not? Ooh, I'm a team player, right? but I'm also allergic to pineapples. Just get slicing. Now. Thanks, guys. Ooh, two-faced bossy little. Ooh. Ugh. Yo, what do you recommend I do about this? Yo, I recommend you scratch after we win. Get back to work. Oh! Dude, you gotta put some clothes on, man. It's unsanitary to cook in something that... <laughs> small. So give me back my pants, then! Harold's right, guys. If you go to the cabin, you'll find a clean pair of underwear and shorts waiting. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> My biscuits are burning! Ah, idiots! What's wrong? Uh, we used all the flambe starter, but it won't flambe. Nothing happened when you lit it? Oh. It's like talking to an eggplant. Pay attention, girls. 
This is how you flambe. Step one, pour the flambe liquid, which you did manage. Step two of two, light it. Is it finally lunchtime? No! Go get my makeup bag from the cabin! But the bees... No! Excuse me, I need a bathroom break. Well, evidently, I need new eyebrows. But we don't always get what we want, do we? Oh, It's like I'm on a team of morons. Oh, that is it. Someone's got to teach this girl a little respect. Nice jammies. This is all I've got left. So if you sickos want to see me butt naked, hit me with your best shot. We'll stop leaving your butt bags all over the cabin and we'll back off. I told you it wasn't me. Well, I tried. Hey guys, I made some sandwiches. We can chow down while we work. Oh, sweet. I'm seriously starving. This tastes like sweat and lotion. It's probably the worst sandwich ever. Gross! <laughs> <laughs> we'll return all your shorts and panties when you admit your guilt, dude. Durable fish bag. Hey! Beth! Gimme! In the fridge! <laughs> ah! Hey! You can't do this! I'm head chef! Do you think Heather's really mad at us? You. She'll get over it. Girl needs to learn how to chill. You're such a slob. They all have to have the same amount of custard. Oh, relax. They're fine. You know, you'd be a lot more fun without that pole up your butt. I'm like the most easygoing person I know. Oh, yeah, you're totally laid back. <gasps> Man, that girl creases me. I dig that in a chick. Duncan and me? Right, as if. I'm so sure. Not in a million years. Please, when pigs fly. Yo, you still busy protesting in there or can someone else have a turn? Like I was saying, not gonna happen. Your meal is coming right up, sir. Back in a sec with your meal, dude. I mean, sir. <laughs> we might just win this thing yet, y'all. Owen, guard the food. All right, let's do this. Okay. Looking good, you guys. <laughs> really good. Oh? What's that, Mr. Ribs? You feel a bit lopsided? Oh, mama, that's good! Oh, now this side looks a little fat. Your antipasto, pass the testo. Pass the pasta, please. A scale of one to ten? Fifteen. How will the gophers respond? <gasps> oh, tell me you did not just eat that entire plate of ribs! Yeah. 
Yeah, this looks like it's, uh, been eaten. Not all of it. I think there's a tiny chunk left on that bone over there. Yeah, there. You know what? I've had worse. Two points! Yeah! Ooh, close, Owen. But the bass still lead 15 to 11. Time for dessert. Six. The bass have 21, so the gophers need all 10 points just to tie it up. I have to say, this dessert looks like a winner. Ooh, that's not good. Hang on there! Yes! Got it! <laughs> Ew. What the heck is this? It's Heather's recipe. Oh, oh my gosh, she's still in the fridge! What? Girl was making everyone trip. Oh, I hear that. <gasps> oh, the horror! You guys are so dead. Is it over? It is. The bass win 21 to 12. And yeah. it's not just because I almost died. The ribs suck too. Great. That's just great. Why do we keep losing, people? And what is this? I didn't approve this. I, I brought it back as a souvenir, you know, from the other island. You did what? You mean Boney Island? The deadliest island in Muskoka? The one I specifically said not to take anything from or you'll be cursed? Yeah. I didn't know. I'll put it back. Okay, the killer bass now lead with seven members to the gopher soon to be six. And as promised, the winners will be enjoying a reward tonight. A five-star dinner under the stars. Oh, nice! Yeah. Way to go, guys! <laughs> right okay. on! Put me down! Put me down! I don't know about y'all, but Heather has got to go. Yeah, but Beth cursed us with that wooden tinky doll thingy. Mm, true. Dear curse, please hit Heather next. And if possible, hit her upside the head. You know, Lindsay, I could convince the team to vote you off tonight. You were a major traitor. But you did let me out of the fridge, so I'll give you one more chance if you vote with me tonight. There, see? All better. Oh, and if you ever team up with Lashana against me again, I'll cut off all your hair while you're sleeping. Today's vote was really hard, but only because there were so many annoying people to choose from. I can't believe we locked her in the fridge. <laughs> that was so cool. She's not going to see this, is she? Lashana is a royal pain in the butt, and Owen completely screwed up everything for us. Her eyebrows look so bad. I, I kind of like to vote Heather off, but... I vote for Beth. I've got seven gophers sitting in front of me tonight, but only six fluffy bits of sweet safety in my hands. So, good luck. When I call your name, come up and get your marshmallow. Lashana? Owen? Gwen? Trent? Lindsay. Heather, Beth, down to you. Whoever doesn't get this last marshmallow must immediately walk the dock of shame and leave on the boat of losers forever. The final marshmallow goes to
garden. Boat of losers, <laughs> that away. That really was stupid of you to take that doll from the island. See ya, girl. That's it for tonight. And you might want to burn some sage to get rid of any lingering curse vibes. Cool, will Chef give us some sage? Nope. So, good luck with that. Good morning, Harold. So, learned your lesson yet? Yes! Okay! Yes! Oh, we're gonna need more than that, man. I'll never leave my crusty underwear out again! I swear! What the heck? I believe him. It's a pleasure doing business with you! <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.